The foundation for the halachos of Hagolas Kalim, koshering vessels, utensils, is found and is based on the storyline found in our Parsha Parsha's Matos. Moshe Rabbeinu is told by Hashem that it's time to take revenge on the nation of Midian. We remember at the end of Parsha's Balak, the beginning of Parsha's Pinchas, that the Midianites convinced the Midianite women to seduce the Jewish men, and when they did so, they had them worship this idol, Baal Peor. And when Hashem saw that the Jewish men were worshiping this Baal Peor, he became so angry, he brought upon a plague in which 24,000 Jewish men died. So in Parshas Matos, Hashem says to Moshe, it's time to take revenge on Midian. And Moshe, as a result, sends 12,000 men to do battle with Midian. They end up destroying much of Midian and bring back some booty, among which were vessels and utensils. So they're greeted by Moshe and Elazar, and they're told that, look, if you want to use these vessels, you want to use these utensils, you can't just simply use them. You have to kosher them. You have to kosherize them first. And there is a very clear method of doing so. As the Torah explains, anything that became non-kosher through the use of water has to be kosherized through water. Anything that became non-kosher through the use of fire has to become kosher through the use of fire. We have a concept of kibolo kachpolto, the way something which is absorbed, the very same method by which it was absorbed is the way it is expunged. And so, if, for example, I boil something in a pot, and the item ends up being non-kosher, and then the whatever the item is gets into the walls of the pot, the only way that I can expunge the non-kosher taste out of the pot is by boiling more water into the pot and taking thereby taking out the taste of non-kosher from the pot. So this is the halacha that we learn from the story of the battle with Midian. But the Kotzka Rebbe Zyatzal asks this question, he says, why now? Why were these halachos taught now? Why wasn't this taught when it came to the battle of Sichon and Og, where the Jewish people were also victorious? There there was booty. They must have taken vessels from there as well. Why weren't the halachos taught then? Why are these laws being taught now only by Midian? And he explains as follows. He says, if you think about the laws, kibolo kachpolto, just as something goes in, so we have to be able to get that item back out. And he says, when it came to Sichon and Og, those were wars that were just about space. They were just physical wars. They were about territory. Whereas when it came to Midian, it wasn't about physical war. It wasn't about a physical battle. But it was really about the spiritual battle. Midian was the first nation to play with the mind of a Jew. Midian was the first nation to bring the Jewish people further away from Hashem, to introduce Avodah Zarah idol worship in order to get the Jewish people to move away from the ideals of belief in Hashem and belief in His Torah. So just as that notion became part of the Jewish mindset as a result of what took place in Midian, if you want to use something from Midian, you have to expunge the concept of Midian from it, says the Kutzke Rebbe. And I think to all of us, during these three weeks, these three weeks are a time of reflection. It's a time when we're thinking about the big story, story of the Jewish people, the story of the exile of the Gullus, story of where we are as a nation and where we are going. And as we reflect, we need to think to ourselves about throughout our sojourn during this exile, during this Gullus, how much have we been impacted how much have we absorbed from the world around us that's really made a difference in how we present ourselves spiritually vis-a-vis -vis our connection with Hashem, His Torah, and the ideals and values the Torah represent? And so if we're able during this time to expunge all of those feelings that are negative, that pull us away from being close to Hashem, then we'll be able to grow become closer to Hashem, find favor in His eyes, and hopefully will finally end this gullus. Thank you for listening, and have a good Shabbos.